All right, so 8.1, so this is start of unit eight, which is all about polygons and quadrilaterals more specifically. Um, so we're gonna be talking a lot, a lot, a lot about parallelograms, rhombus, square, rectangle, kite, um, and all their properties, trapezoids, and all their properties, and um, how they are similar, and then how they are different within this unit. So today we're talking just about general polygons. It is important that you do know the names of your polygons. So like a triangle, a quadrilateral, it's not a square, it's a quadrilateral, um, a pentagon, hexagon, and so on and so forth. You do need to know those because those words will be thrown out to you. So you need to know how many sides each of those have. So a diagonal. So if I draw a figure, so this is a five-sided figure, so it's a pentagon. What a diagonal is, it joins, I feel like this is, joins two non-consecutive vertices. So consecutive vertices would be like this one and this one. Those are consecutive, so that's not a diagonal. A diagonal would have to go to this guy or this guy, but not to this guy because those are consecutive also. So that's what a diagonal is considered. Um, polygon interior angles theorem states that the sum of the measure of the interior angles of a convex polygon, so convex is like this, concave, remember, is something like that because it caves in. But if we're talking about a convex n-gon, so that means any number of sides, what you do is you do n minus 2, the number of sides, times 180. The reason being, and we're going to use this for an example, in a polygon, the 180 comes from a triangle. The number of degrees in a triangle is 180. If I look at this figure, if I look at just one vertice, I can draw two diagonals, which makes one, two, three triangles. Each of those triangles has 180 degrees, right? 180 degrees in every triangle. So that would be 3 times 180, and that would give me the total, I think that's 360. That gives me the total number of degrees, no, 560? 560, sorry. 180 times 3. Yeah, oh, 540. Wrong. That gives me the total number of degrees in that pentagon, and in, in any convex pentagon, it will always have 540 degrees, okay? So n minus 2, well, a, a pentagon has five sides, right? So 5 minus 2 is 3. This has three triangles, and that works for any figure. If I had an eight-sided figure, if I subtract 2 from 8, I get 6. That means that that would have six triangles within the figure if I draw my diagonals. It creates six triangles. Then I multiply each of those by 180 because a triangle has 180 degrees. So this guy's a six-sided figure, so I do 6 minus 2. Just 4 times 180. Um, 720, right? My math is off today, so we'll just see. Yep, 720. Okay. Corollary to 8.1, interior angles of a quadrilateral. The sum of the measures of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So we know that. Square or rectangle has 360. Reason being, again, goes back to that theorem. Um, if I draw my diagonals, I can only draw one diagonal into a quadrilateral, okay? So I have one triangle with 180 and another triangle with 180, so total 360. Um, polygon exterior angles theorem. So it does not matter how many sides a polygon has. Its exterior angles always add up to 360. It could have 100 exterior angles, meaning it has 100 sides. It could have three exterior angles, meaning it has three sides and it's a triangle. If you notice, when we talk about exterior angles, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So this one's going clockwise, and it looks like a windmill. So you just extend the line and keep extending. What you will not see for exterior angles is we don't have exterior angles. Let's say I have this figure. So if I'm going this way, I should extend down, so keep extending. But I don't have exterior angles that face each other. See how these two face each other? That is not its exterior angle that we're talking about. So not that. It would be the extension of this, that guy. But those exterior angles always, always, always add to 360 degrees, no matter how many there are. Again, there could be 100. There could be 3. So find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the indicated convex polygon. So pause me. Try number 1, number 2, and number 3. See if you can figure out how many sides that is and then figure out how many degrees total are in that figure. Okay. So hexagon is a six-sided figure, so I do six minus two, 
So that's 4 times 180. And we did that one above, so that is 720 degrees. Do decagon, do means 2, dec means 10, so together that makes 12. So that would be 12 minus 2, which equals 10, and then I multiply that by 180, which would add a 0, so it's 1,800 degrees. 20 gone, 20 minus 2, which is equal to 18, times that by 180. So 18 times 180, 2,240 degrees. All right. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is given. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So it is telling me what its total is. So its total is 1,800. So what that means is I know that if I do n minus 2 and I multiply it times 180, it will equal this amount. So you have to just work backwards to solve for your n. So I'm going to divide by 180, divide by 180, and I get n minus 2 equals 10 because 1,800 divided by 180 is 10. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, add 2. So this would be a 12-sided figure or a dodecagon. Same idea here. So go ahead and pause me. Try 5 and 6 on your own. So n minus 2 times 180 is equal to 540 now. I'm going to divide by 180 on both sides. So 540 divided by 180 is 3. So I get n minus 2 equals 3. I'm going to add 2 to both sides to get n by itself, and I get n equals 5, or a pentagon. So a 5-sided figure is a pentagon. All right, number 6. n minus 2. Multiply that by 180 equals 2520. And divide by 180 on both sides. I get 14. So I get n minus 2 equals 14. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, so I get n equals 16. So it's a 16 sided figure or a 16 gun. All right, flip to the next side. So the top two are talking about interior angles, bottom two are talking about exterior angles. I'm going to do 7 and 9, and then I'm going to have you work on 8 and 10 on your own. So 7 and 9, or 7, so interior angles. First thing, to solve for x, I need to know how many degrees are total in this figure. So there's one, I'm going to start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So I'm going to do 6 minus 2, which is 4, times that by 180. So there's 720 degrees in this guy. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these and add them up. So I'm going to do 88 plus 105 plus 142 plus 140 plus 124. That's 599. So 599 plus this x value that we don't know should equal 720. So I'm going to take 720 and minus that 599. And I get x equals 121. Okay. Um, number 9. All exterior angles add up to 360. So 93 plus 75 is 168. So 168 plus this x plus this 2x, so that's 3x's together, equals 360. So I'm going to subtract 168 from both sides. So I get 3x's equal 192. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides, and I get x equals 64. Now that we did that together, go ahead and pause me and do 8 and 10 on your own. Okay, so on number 8, it is a 7 side figure, so I do 5 times 180 and get 900. I add up these guys and I get 530. Be careful, this guy is actually 146, not 145. And then I have 74x's, so I subtract... Um, I subtract 530 from both sides, I get 370, divide by 74, and I get 5. And then on this one, I add up all these, and I get 150, and then I add up my x's, and I get 7x, and that equals 360, because the exterior angles always add to 360. Um, and then I subtract 150 from both sides, so I get 210, then I divide by 7, so I get x equals 30. Okay, questions 11 through 13 say... By the measure of the interior angle and an exterior angle of the indicated polygon. So this is a regular triangle. It's important that we know that this is regular because we can know how many degrees are inside a triangle. 
but we cannot know how many degrees are in each corner of the triangle unless we know that it's a regular triangle because the definition of regular means all side lengths are equal and all angle measures are equal. So all angles are going to be equal here. So we should know that a triangle has 180 degrees. It has three angles, so we're going to divide that by three to get my interior angles. So we have 60 degrees on the interior. Now exterior angles, remember there's always 360. There's going to be three exterior angles because there's three interior angles. So we do 360 divided by three. So I get 120 for my exterior. Okay. Go ahead and try 12 and 13 on your own. Pause me and pause me when you're done. So octagon, so that would be 8 minus 2. So that's 6 times 180 for my interior angle. So 6 times 180 is 1,080 degrees for my interior angles. But we're going to divide it by 8 because there's 8 equal interior angles. So each interior angle is 135 degrees. Now, exterior, there's going to be 360 degrees on the exterior angles. I'm going to divide that by 8 because it's octagon. So 360 divided by 8 is 45 degrees on my exterior angles. One more, regular 16 gone. So I'm going to do 16 minus 2, so that gives me 14. Multiply that by 180. So 14 times 180 is 2520. But I'm going to divide that by 16 again because that's how many equal angles. So each interior angle is 157.5. 360 divided by 18. equals 20 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry. 360 divided by 16. is 22.5. Okay, the reason I knew that I was making a mathematical error is the following. What do you notice about its interior with its exterior? This interior with this exterior. This interior with this exterior. Every time, if you notice, your interior angle adds to 180 with its exterior angles. If I add these, it equals 180. The reason being is, if I look back up here, um, we have 146 degrees here. If I extend that exterior angle, we're talking the exterior angle here, but if you notice, what happens is this makes a straight line. How many degrees are in a straight line? There's 180. So those two angles together, the interior with the exterior, always have to add to 180, and that's what happened here. Okay. Find the value of n for each n-gon described. Each interior angle of a regular n-gon has a measure of 140 degrees. Okay. So the way that I do this is I work off the exterior angles because it's easier, okay, for me. So if the interior angle is 140 degrees, that means the exterior angle has to equal 40 degrees because they have to add to 180 together. Well, if I know a regular polygon each of its exterior angles equals 40 degrees. I know that I found that by doing 360 divided by n number of sides, and each one of those gave me 40 degrees, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work backwards to solve for n. So I'm going to multiply by n on both sides. I cancel, so now I get 360 equals 40 times n. I'm going to divide by 40, divide by 40, so 360 divided by 40 is 9. So this is a 9-sided figure, which is a nonagon. Now, we can try that and make sure. I can work backwards. So if it's a nonagon, it has 9 sides, so that's 9 minus 2 is 7. So 7 times 180. This figure has 1260 degrees in it. If I divide that by 9, the number of sides it has, it gets me back to that 140. So that's how I figured that out. Each exterior angle of a regular, again, remember this only works with regular, n gone has a measure of 45 degrees. So 360 over n equals that 45 degrees. Multiply by n, divide by 45. So really what you're doing is 360 divided by 45 is 8. So it's an octagon. Two homework assignments. The first is your Schoology assignment. The second will be this 8.1 assignment. I have numbered these, so this is page one. You need to do page one and page two and enter the answers into Schoology.
Thanks, guys.